Good morning everyone, Hector here with InYourPools.com. Uh, so today we're actually going to be changing a check valve inner flap assembly. Uh, commonly what you'll see is with a spillover spa, the water level will drain in the spa to the same water level as the swimming pool itself. Uh, usually that means that the check valve is either clogged for some reason, something jammed inside the uh, assembly, or it's just gone bad. So we're going to go ahead and change that inner flap assembly in the check valve. So here is the actual check valve itself at the equipment. You'll see that the screws actually hold the cover to the check valve on there. We'll remove these screws, removing this cover, exposing the inner flap assembly of the check valve. We will replace that. Uh, commonly these check valves are used for uh, preventing the water level in the spa from lowering when the pool, has, the pool pump has turned off. Uh, there can also be used for preventing backflow of chlorine fume or dissolved chlorine or maybe even uh, chlorine that's been generated from a salt system, uh, preventing it from backflowing when the pump is off into uh, a heater or a heat pump. Uh, that could prevent that could cause corrosion so these check valves can be used for a number of things so today we're going to go ahead and walk through the process of changing out that uh, inner flap assembly and we'll start by removing the the cover here sometimes in order to remove the cover from the check valve after removing the screws, uh, you want to try to pry the cover off, lid cover off. You can slide in a flathead screwdriver, kind of wiggle it around a little bit, and that should be able to help you remove that, that cover. There's the actual flapper assembly. See some uh, little corrosion, some buildup on there. As you can see, the spring here looks to be a little corroded. It's probably from the salt and the chlorine over time. That can cause the spring to not retract, um, kind of jamming up that, that flapper assembly. You can kind of hear it crunching around a little bit. So we're gonna go ahead and remove that. Double check that O-ring. If it's dry rotted, if it's uh, broken, torn, you might wanna replace that. Um, but if it's a good condition, this one does look like it's pretty good. You may be able to reuse it. Uh, just lubricate that, clean up this as well. Here you can actually see both of the uh, flapper assemblies side by side, the older one on the left, the newer one on the right. You can actually see the uh, some scale buildup on the rubber portion of the assembly and also you can see some rust on the spring there. Uh, big difference between the two. You know you always want to make sure and match up the brands before trying to uh, purchase the parts. This one is a Pentair CPVC check valve. Um, the Jandy uh, series is very very similar they're nearly identical, so just keep that in mind um, when you're going ahead and getting the new parts. So we're going to go ahead and lubricate this, this O-ring here uh, with some, some magic lube. There's different kinds of lubricant you can get, O-ring lubricant, uh, in the uh, industry, but that's probably one of the more, more common ones. Very handy to have uh, around um, for many O-rings um, and seals and your pool equipment. So again, we're going to go ahead and lubricate that and uh, slap that back on the rest of the assembly, the check valve itself. As you can see, we went ahead and cleaned it up as well. We've gone ahead and lubricated that lid O-ring, cover O-ring. And we're gonna go ahead and place this back into the check valve. Uh, always remember to have you know marked or remembered how the flapper was positioned inside the check valve itself. In this case, the way that the returns are set up, you have water flowing here, going to the spa spillover. So this is the water going to the spa slash spillover. So we want to be able to place that flapper here. So it allows water to be to open up that flapper, but it will not allow water to go back into the line, which in essence would drain the spa. And now you see everything's been screwed back on. Proper flow direction. You can see there's an arrow here as well. That'll give you a little bit more of an indication indication of how the actual water flow needs to be moving through the line itself, through the check valve. And uh, she's done. We'll fire up the system now to check for any leaks. This way we'll confirm that that has been sealed properly and that we're getting proper water flow to the spot itself.
So as you can see, after getting the uh, pump primed, uh, the cover is not leaking anywhere. So this is how you'll be able to test and confirm that you've successfully replaced the flapper assembly within your check valve and uh, water's flowing and it's sealed properly. So as you can see, the spa has been filling back up after turning the pump on, letting it prime up, making sure the check valve cover uh, lid o-ring sealed properly. Uh, well, so what we'll do is we'll allow this spa to fill up, pretty much going ahead and spilling over to the pool. And then what we'll do is we'll also just shut off the pump uh, give it maybe a minute or so because if that flapper assembly is bad or was not properly installed this spa should drain down pretty quick uh, so we'll pretty much know fairly quickly as you can see the spa is getting ready to spill over shortly and we'll go ahead and kick off the equipment to test the uh, check valve so there you have it we've uh, both tested the the cover seal and the spa itself making sure it does not drain down so that's a successful check valve flapper assembly replacement. If you have any further questions, please visit our website. We have an online chat feature where a customer service representative or tech can assist you with any further questions that you may have. Uh, you know, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Check out our Facebook. We have a group there as well uh, where people are discussing their pool issues. And we have all kinds of other members there helping each other as well. And uh, have a good day.